Uh, welcome to Series Daily. This is Mentors Call, uh, wherein uh, we discuss or I discuss uh, with my mentee or student regarding targets for coming 15 days or the some test series test discussion, maybe mains or prelims. And today on this Mentors Call, we are going to discuss uh, Samachar Mantan Test 38, which uh, Animesh has written and he got its checked copy. So that's what today we are discussing uh, the test discussion of uh, Samachar Mantan 38. Ben. So. Uh, Animesh, before starting discussing, like I want to know, like what did you, what the inputs you got uh, this test? What did you uh, think of this test when you got the checked copy and when you read the comments, micro or micro comments, whatever they are? Uh, I I kind of found the inputs overall. It was uh, it all made sense because I mean I could understand that someone has given uh, quite a lot of efforts in understanding the answers and where I'm lacking. It's, the comments are not very general, rather very specific. Okay. And also, uh, it was not just pointing out what mistakes I've done or what I'm lacking, but also added points were given in almost all the questions, like what could have been added or okay. how the structure could have been made better so that it would have been more legible. So I think not with that, I think the structure, clarity, content, every part was, was wholesomely evaluated. Good. So what are the inputs you have taken uh, from this test by just looking at that otherwise? Because once you, uh, I will, I want to know that uh, what inputs you got and how you got to analyze this, then later on I'll then discuss this uh, uh, question by question also. Just want to know like where do you think that you need improvement actually? So because you got very good marks, like 49 marks out of uh, 125, right? That's a pretty good marks actually. So where do you think that you can uh, add value, add something so that you can get uh, 55 or 60 marks like that? Correct, sir. Uh, one thing, sir, is that uh, at some part of the questions, I am unable to understand the correct demand of the question. I mean, when correct. there are subparts of the questions, I have mm -hmm. to prioritize which part is the major agenda of the question. Correct. correct. Uh, that A. Second, I think I can be better with some of my introductions and especially conclusions. Uh, because what I've seen is that my conclusions <clears throat> are very generalistic. And uh, that, that's where I think I might lose some marks. Uh, thirdly, I think whenever I have some inputs as well in, in some of the questions, uh, the recommendations that I provided or the point that I mentioned, they're very general in nature. I mean, uh, incorporation of an example here and there or a bit of substantiation in one, two words could have made it uh, more uh, like heavy weight, I would say. Those are a few of the inputs that I think I've got. Good, good. Actually, you have summarized actually. <laughs> so let's go question by question. Okay. So you have your PDF in front of you, right? Yes, sir. Uh, you tell me, uh, the first question is like, despite the challenges, uh, there are various opportunities for discounts under uh, revamped distributed sector reform scheme, right? RDSS, discuss, right? Correct, sir. So now tell me, like, whenever you look at the question, what the first thing you do? Uh, so I think I gathered, uh, tried to remember any data related to discounts that I had read or like, made in my notes. So that that without any thinking, I could can put that in introduction. Okay. So the first thing you have to do is you have to underline the keywords in the question. Okay. So as soon as you look at the question, just underline the keywords because the whole question revolves around those keywords. Correct. Okay. So tell me what are the keywords in this question? Mm, uh, I think sir, uh, discoms was one of the uh, uh, keyword and most importantly the RDSS scheme Correct. is uh, the important uh, uh, keyword here. Okay. See, uh, for me, keywords are uh, challenges, opportunities, and Correct. RDSS, and discuss, and one more keyword which can change the whole answer is despite. Okay. okay. Because there are challenges. Okay. So, Correct. despite challenges, there are opportunities also. Correct. So, the answer should focus on challenges, opportunities, we will discuss about these things only to be frank. Yeah. So discussion should be based, uh, discussion should be regarding challenges and opportunities only. Okay. Right. So right. now tell me, uh, for example, if you look at your answer, you are written that about 30,000, 33,000 crore uh, rupees of losses has been incurred by discounts in financial year 2021. Okay. Right. right? So instead of that, uh, wouldn't have it better if you have started with what is RDS scheme and all this stuff. Uh, yes, sir. I mean, that could have been uh, addressed the question in a better way because that's what yeah. it was targeting. 
Correct. So the thing is, we have to first start with uh, saying or introducing what is RDSs. Okay, what is this scheme is all about? Then come about your challenges. In the in the challenges, you write your data that this much of debt is there actually. Correct. Okay. So the structuring of answer should be introduction about RDSs and uh, say what are the challenges and uh, what are the opportunities in the form of RDSs. Correct. That's how it should be simple, right? Yes. So instead, instead that you just gave a problem in the introduction. Okay. So you right. gave a challenge and you just uh, gave that RDSs opportunities, right? Correct. So, so first, first uh, we have to know, see, when you are writing a question, you have to write as if uh, you're writing for a 14 year old kid. Okay. Now the kid want to know what is the RDSs scheme first, right? So we have to know what is RDSs scheme first. So tell briefly about RDSs scheme and then come with your challenges and what opportunities we have through this RDSs scheme also. Because okay. the, that will set the context right. Okay. Right. So once you set the context, then answers become very relevant actually. Right. Okay. And the same question, as far as conclusion is concerned, your conclusion is around five lines, right? Correct. So I told you in the last discussion also that keep conclusion as precise or, or as concise as possible, like within two to three lines, right? For example, yes. in this, uh, we have uh, the 2025 vision of reducing the gap between actual cost of supply and revenue received to zero can be achieved using the RDSS scheme if implemented fully, right? Yes. Now, always, always look at the question before, uh, when you write answer, always look at the question. The question is saying that despite the challenges, there are various opportunities for discounts under RDSS scheme. Yes. So your conclusion is very relevant. You said that RDSS, we, in short, we can say also say that uh, in the form of RDSS, we have a better opportunity to overcome the challenges in the discounts. That could have been very simple and apt conclusion. Okay. So whatever point you have written, uh, you can write in opportunities also that point. And in conclusion, because conclusion should not give any type of you know reasoning and stuff. Just conclude the answer. Like, itna karenge to ho jayega hamara. Like, because already we have given lots of we have given lots of data and reasoning and all those stuff in the answer, right? right. So just uh, just uh, give that conclusion should be very very small and neat. Okay. Okay. Sir. Otherwise, the uh, overall to be to be to be frank and overall to say about this paper, it's very good actually. Like you know, you just started with uh, one one month, right? Started one month back, and you have you are writing such a good answers. Thus, so it's overall it's very good. There are only very very few areas where you can improve. Okay, like you said, uh, we can improve introductions and all those stuff, right? So there is a lot of work to do introductions also. What is privatization? So simple, very good definition which we are given, right? Good definition to be frank. And what are its objectives? And uh, it can analyze if privatization is a solution for poor management by public sector. Correct. Mm. Okay. Also suggest the way forward. It's not four parts. Hai. Yes, sir. Hai na? Four parts. So each and every part to answer. Karna hai. Hai? With equal importance, nahi dena, dekho, what is privatization? 15 master question. Hai. So equal importance, they go to her part ko aapko around uh, 20, 50 words. Dena padenge, right? So what is privatization? No need to be words. Just introduce, say what is privatization, which you have written aptly. Okay, you have to manage ownership or manage whatever this is fine actually. And when you come to objective, right? Again, objectives, you have written, government has no role to do business. Now, this is not objective, this is opinion. Right? Correct. Objective is that we want to do what we want, what we want to do. So, you have written objectives and opinion, don't do it. What happens is that only it's problem of wording problem. For example, Objective में अगर आप इसी statement को government has no role to do business में बोलते हो government want to get out of business correct ये objective बन जाता जी sir got it है ना तो ये objective तो वो शब्दों का खेल होता है बस कुछ नहीं होता है तो heading जब आपने objective लगा तो आपको लिखना चाहता है government wants to get out of business that's very important problem ये objective है government का कि हमको business से बाहर निकलना है आपने जो बोला government को business में कुछ काम ही नहीं है वो opinion हो जाएगा Okay, so choose your headings properly. Okay. okay.
एंड नेक्स्ट आपने जो बोला लाइक ब्रिंग इन जब भी ऑब्जेक्ट लिखते ना टू लिखो पहले टू ब्रिंग इन कॉर्पोरेट एंड टेक्नोलॉजिकल एक्सपर्टीज टू ब्रिंग प्रोफेशनलिज्म टू बूस्ट एफिशिएंसी ऑब्जेक्ट क्या है हम जो करना चाहते हैं राइट सो क्या टू ब्रिंग टू ब्रिंग प्रोफेशनलिज्म टू अट्रैक्ट मोर एफिटी इन्वेस्टमेंट ऐसा होता है एंड नेक्स्ट हेडिंग में आपने लिखा इज प्राइवेटाइजेशन अ सॉल्यूशन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू मी एज आंसर में कभी क्वेश्चन फॉर्म्स मत यूज करो ठीक है बी सजेस्टिव लाइक प्राइवेटाइजेशन सोल्यूशन बिकॉज़ आपको जब सेकंड पार्ट में जब उन्होंने बोला क्रिटिकल एनालिस करो इन पॉइंट्स को लेके आपको बताना है कि जो प्रीवियसली अब तक प्राइवेटाइजेशन हुआ उनमें ये सब कुछ आ चुका है लाइक प्रोफेशनलिज्म आ चुका है एक्सपर्टीज आ चुका है यस और नो दैट्स हाउ वी हैव टू क्रिटिकल एनालाइज दिस थिंग्स क्रिटिकल एनालिस मतलब ये नहीं है कि हर चीज का पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव लिखो नहीं क्रिटिकल मतलब है जो कंपेयर करके स्टडी करके उसको क्रिटिक क्रिटिक मतलब होता है ना मूवी क्रिटिक मूवी क्रिटिक देखते हो मैंने सा, शायद बोला पिछले बार आपको शायद नहीं बोला यस yes, हाँ मूवी क्रिटिक क्या करते हैं पहले फैक्ट बताते हैं मूवी का स्टोरी बताते हैं सब कुछ करते हैं ना सो सेम वे क्रिटिकल जांच मतलब आपको एक पॉइंट लेना है उसको समझाना है कि ऐसे हुआ कि नहीं हुआ ठीक है हाँ तो हमारे पास बहुत सारे एग्जाम्पल्स है जो गवर्नमेंट ने प्राइवेटाइज करने के बाद उसका कंपनी बंद भी हो चुका था सो यू कैन से दैट देखो प्राइवेटाइज होने के बाद ऐसे ऐसे हुआ अच्छा भी हुआ है बुरा भी हुआ है सो देन यू कैन से दैट जो आप सजेशन बहुत सजेशन दिया आपने वॉट एवर सजेशन यू है वेरी गुड एट द एंड एक्चुअली है ना ये वाले डो नॉट ट्रांसफर कम्प्लीट ऑनरशिप है पी एस सी रिलेटेड वे ब्रिंगिंग है है ना तो ये लिखना पड़ेगा आपको देखो प्राइवेटेशन से अच्छा भी हुआ है बुरा भी हुआ है राइट और हमको दिखाना है कि हाँ एफिशियंसी आया है नहीं आया ठीक है एक्सपर्टीज बढ़ा है कि नहीं बढ़ा वॉट एवर पॉइंट ना ऑब्जेक्टिव में So, उन सब के बारे में बात करना है हमको ठीक है जी सर वन मोर थिंग जब आपने वे फॉर में लिखा कि लर्न फ्रॉम चाइनाज मॉडल ऑफ एस ए एस सी अब ये भी तो बताओ कि सीखना क्या है वहां से ओके है ना यस सर आप एक दो वर्ड में वहां पे क्या करते थे वो स्टेट ओन एसेट सुपरविजन एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कमीशन है क्या करते थे वो मतलब आ, लिखना चाहिए हमको वहां इसलिए उसका पूरा मतलब आप क्या कर सकते हो उसका जो ऑब्जेक्टिव होता है ना वो वन टू लाइन में बोल दो मतलब वो मुझे बताओ बट करते क्या है मुझे नहीं पता इसके मुझे नहीं पता ऐसे ऐसे क्या है That that is basically uh, similar to I think there must be an organization हमारे यहाँ भी but what is that? Because SSC has a lot of power in recruiting the top leaders of uh, the different PSUs. So basically, uh-huh. it's one umbrella organization for all the PSUs, and all the PSUs have their own uh, freedom to operate. But then innovation, research, and channeling between inter PSU knowledge transfer, all these are being handled by SSC. हाँ तो आपको अब इतने सारे ऑब्जेक्ट इतने सारे वर्क्स बोले आपके से से राइट उसमें से कौन सा मेन लगता है आपको बताओ रिक्रूटमेंट लगता है मेन रेगुलेट करना रिक्रूटमेंट लगता है ना सो so, लिखो कि वी कैन लर्न फ्रॉम चाइना मॉडल ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट थ्रू एस एस सी करेक्ट सो जो भी ऑब्जेक्टिव को जैसे आप रिक्रूटमेंट बोला रेगुलेटिंग बोला सो यूज दैट वर्ड इन देंटेंस ओनली वी कैन रिक्रूट थ्रू दाइनीज मॉडल ऑफ एस एस सी करेक्ट मतलब आपको अच्छा इससे इसमें रिक्रूटमेंट होता है देन वी विल नो अच्छा ठीक है देन इज सेल्फ सफिशिएंट राइट राइट अगर आपने कोई डाल दिया वहां पे तो वो सेल्फ सफिशिएंट फ्लेक्स सेल्फ एक्सप्लेन हो जाता है अगर आप नहीं डाला तो मुझे क्वेश्चन मार्क आएगा ऐसा क्या किया ना चाइना में ऐसे ऐसे में कि मुझे समझ में नहीं आ रहा है ना तो आपने कोई से एक पॉइंट डाल दिया जो वो करते हैं तो बस सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी हो जाएगा वो ठीक है अगर आप दो वर्ड भी लिखोगे ना सेंटेंस में इफ दैट इज सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी देन इट्स फाइन So whenever you read Samachar Mandan, uh, do you make notes of Samachar Mandan or not? Uh, no, sir. I just while I'm just reading in Evernote, like for fifty, sixty words, I make only article, just point mm-hmm. out the article to that uh, or the data per se. So that I just make like hardly not even fifty, sixty words also. Okay, okay, okay. So by that you will remember things whatever they are, and uh, 
after reading for uh, four five days right how much time how much time it will take to read samatha mantra uh, so i read every day around 30 minutes or 45 minutes so, so how many days so five days five, five days, days. Uh, after five days, the sixth day you will give gap, and seventh day you will write this point. Yes. yes. Good. 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 So now tell me how much time you are uh, taking to finish these ten questions? Uh, all all the samajha mandan today I gave the fourth test, so all the tests have given give within it. one hour thirty minutes. One hour one thirty minutes only. Good. 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 Very. Good. I mean here there one minute would have been gap in one hour thirty one minutes or something, but all. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Now, any problems you're facing uh, while writing as such? Uh, sir, I mean, as you say, uh, certain times, I mean, I understand that the introduction is not right. I mean, sometimes very uh, school childish introduction, something. But then at that time, I since the time is a constant, I feel that uh, it's better not to waste time but write something at least. Uh, right. That and second, as I said, I think I have to uh, give at least minute details to the what the question is asking. Mm-hmm. Able to understand, even though it's around discom, but then what in discom, Correct. or even though about MSP, what in MSP it is asking. So that I think have to give a bit more importance. So what you're doing is good thing because if you don't, uh, if you, even though you know that introduction is not good, still you're finishing answer. Right? That's very good thing because uh, here we are not no need to look at perfection. Okay. Correct. Sir. Okay then. Anything else? If you want to ask, then otherwise we finish this call. It's all good, sir. Chalo. So thank you so much. This is a mentor's call regarding the paper discussion of mains and also targets also. Okay. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Civil Daily.